On this channel, I do a lot of ITX PC builds and it's really helpful to have an open bench to easily swap out parts, test things out and see how systems work before I put them in an actual case. This is my current test bench. It's an old extruded aluminum thing. It's pretty crappy to be honest. It has a plastic piece here for the power supply. Not the greatest system, but it was very, very affordable. But today that's gonna change. In this box, we have my new test bench, a portable one from Open Bench Table. So let's check it out. If you're unfamiliar with Open Bench Table, they make premium test benches that come in aluminum and also two sizes and three different colors. For sizing, you can get up to a full ATX support or you can also go with the mini version, the BC1, which is what we have here today that accommodates mini ITX motherboards. They also come in a silver, a black, and what looks like a space gray or like a dark gray color. So all three have premium anodized finishes and they look fantastic. Recently, both of the models were updated as well to a version two that has some small tweaks and upgrades like a spot for a power button, which is really helpful. Today, I'm gonna look at the BC1 Mini, which is again, the ITX version, and that is the version one. But if you wanna learn more about the version two, I'd head over to the website and you can check it out there. The BC1 comes with a very slim and simple matte black box. And once you get it open, there looks like what seems to be one piece of solid aluminum with a bunch of screws sticking into it. We'll touch on more of that later. Underneath that, there is a manual and that's really it. There's nothing else in the box, nor does there need to be. Now putting the actual unit together looks like it might be difficult when you look at just the solid piece, but once you get everything disassembled, it's really simple. The way everything is laid out makes perfect sense. There's four screws to connect the feet. There's another four screws to connect your power supply. There's four motherboard standoffs that have a toolless design. You just pressure fit the motherboard in and then simple standoffs for your GPU. And there's adapters for that as well. Everything on this board is exactly where it needs to be and should be. Everything fit together on my unit perfectly. I didn't have any issues with fitment or build with this system. Open Bench Table was wise to put tall standoffs on this system so that you can actually route the cables underneath your motherboard without any major issues. That's one of the common things that you see or common problems you see with some of these other smaller test benches. Once you get everything assembled, the cables are all over the place, they're coming off every side and, and what have you. But this, you can route them underneath the actual motherboard. There are little cutouts to do so and it makes everything a lot neater. And when I finished the build, I had a few screws and a few metal bars left over and I was initially confused as to what they were for. I took a quick look at the manual and it turns out this actually supports liquid cooling. So you can actually put a CPU cooler, a liquid CPU cooler on there and mount it to the side of the case, which is actually amazing. So I went ahead and did that with my 92 millimeter Asetek unit and it fit perfectly. You could probably put a bigger cooler on here as well, but again, this is an ITX system. I wouldn't push it too far when it comes to mounting. I am definitely impressed with the build quality of the BC1 and the flexibility that it offers. It looks really good as well. A lot of open test benches don't look great. Once you get them set up, they're more function over form. This kind of dances in both worlds. It looks good, but it also has excellent function and it was designed very well. I would be happy to put this on my desk as sort of a main build if I was into that open look. Um, and if some people might be, a lot of you might want to consider that. And considering the price of this, which is over $170, I could definitely see that being an option for some of you out there. I think it goes without saying that this is a premium product. It's certainly not a budget option, but it does justify its cost in my opinion with the premium build. Everything is perfectly built. It lines up, the screws fit in perfectly. It can be completely collapsed down and there's a spot for every single screw. I think it's versatility also sep separates it. Having a spot for the PSU and ITX power supply and also cooling. If you wanted to do liquid cooling, that's really special. So this overall as a package, I think is a really strong offering. Um, it has all the features that you would look for, for an open bench. And also you can get a bigger size if you really want that. So if ITX isn't your thing, you can certainly go up to micro ATX or full ATX with the larger model. I'm really a fan of the BC1 and it will definitely be my bench table for the foreseeable future. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the BC1 or you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'll drop links for both of those things in the description. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Jay, I'll see you next time.